The following content is a technical analysis on AMTD Digital Incorporated, a company of the financial sector and credit services here off the 300 minute interval, whereas I had mentioned on the 7th of July 2023, where we were trading spot price $6.48 on major uh, 648 price support here. Just a very vast reactionary low uh, support level that has just been respected heavily. Uh, since the beginning of May there, and in my preceding video discussing AMTD, I alluded to the manufacturing process of the chart being a lot more remarkably more constructive uh, compared to prior instances that I had observed, whereas you had this nice, clean, divergent low, positive and bullish divergences building for some quite some time on all three technical momentum indicators, whereas you had a nice, clean, bullish falling wedge pattern, primary reactionary high uh, downtrend line really across the board there with a ton of uh, reactionary high reactions. And here's the update where the entire trade was good for call it 14.5 percent in gains. And however, I, I must admit that my sentiment towards the closing uh, data print of the candle was filled with a little bit of waning momentum there, especially after uh, perfectly, almost perfectly grazed uh, my calculated third target here. And in terms of evaluating the situation at hand, I would liken it to a, a really a coin toss as it seemed to embody a finely uh, delineated uh, breakout that was teetering on the edge of uncertainty here uh, giving me that uh, um, inverse head and shoulder fill there whereas we had a, a, a nice breakdown there where we traced that entire move there no shoulders pretty flat there but again just a, a nice uh, breakout right above there hit that 382 uh, fibs resistance coinciding with the 735 price resistance up in the up above there Whereas you have the 200, 300 minute moving average hovering in up above, uh, coinciding with the 236 FIBS retracement. I'll call it 686, 691 price resistance. Uh, and that is a big level to watch, in my opinion. That's going to determine uh, the next move and the next underlying trend for AMT Digital. If we can pop that level, if we can take out that level tomorrow, if not the uh, following days that are to come, following trading sessions to come there, uh, that would uh, uh, raise the odds significantly. Uh, for uh, an add-on to your position and a more sustained move uh, to the upside, uh, re-challenging that previous reactionary high off the 382 FIBS retracement. Now, if we have a back test, we have a nice, we have a ton of support now down below, uh, starting with the, it's coinciding with the 665 price support there, coinciding with the primary reactionary high downtrend line. So if we have that reaction tomorrow, uh, have a nice healthy pullback, uh, back test that inflection point, uh, which would be an add-on to your existing position, if not, an entry objective entry long trade uh long trade to the uh, for the upside on a, a nice clean risk reward ratio uh, move to uh, retest that a uh, 236 fibs retracement uh, and a continued momentum uh whereas bull traders and lower long traders want to uh, have that sustained rally where we could even have a, a potential beginning stages of an uptrend here uh, whereas you again you want to break out of that key inflection point take away some of the lines here and uh, that's that's what they want. They want to uh, uh, continue to make a series of higher highs and higher lows uh, and uh, really take that level out. I believe that two, three, six FIBS retracement goes. Uh, that's going to uh, increase the odds pretty significantly, in my opinion, uh, for a sustained move to the upside uh, and then uh, potentially start to go on and hit some of these new, new newer targets. Whereas you have the moving average convergence still on a nice bullish crossover starting to teeter right above the zero line thresholds with the histogram starting to print, print up a, a nice candle close to the upside, uh, uh, signifying potential trend changes there. Whereas you have the oscillator histograms healthily uh, steadying its flow right back up the zero line thresholds as well. Uh, and a, a more jagged, profound uh, price action here in the relative strength index. Uh, and that could be a basis for a continued move. Yeah, that move of coming right back down like that was pretty ugly, whereas you have these stochastics 10, 3, 3 uh, starting to curve out, uh, have a, uh, more of a bearish crossover to the downside. That's why I'm calling this a, a nice, clean 50-50 uh, move here. But that's exactly what bull traders want to see. They want to see a prolonged move and a series of continued uh, momentum to the upside. And hopefully this is a solidified breakout and have a panic rush to the exit doors for short sellers.